Hello everybody, this is gonna be a very short video, I don't wanna make this too long, but um, the Hell of a Boss official Twitter account has posted a tweet saying, Happy Pride Month from Hell of a Boss, and it has a wonderful fan art depicting what appears to be the sexuality flags of most of the characters we know and love. And this is very cool because it's confirmation about, hey, because I know that for a lot of characters there's been tons of speculation about, hey, are they this, are they that? And now that we finally know, this is a wonderful gift this Pride Month from the Hell of a Boss crew, as they have confirmed a lot of the sexualities of, like I said, many of the characters we know and love. Blitz. We already knew he was Pan, and it's amazing to see him showing that side of him. We love it. <laughs> he is um, naked in the car, that's something I didn't notice, but hey, it's his life, he can do what he wants. Moxie and Millie. Well, we knew Moxie was bisexual for quite a long time now. Um, so it's no surprise to see him with that flag. Millie doesn't have a flag on her, but I could have sworn I remember seeing something in the past that she was also bisexual. If I am wrong, please correct me in the comments below, but I'm just going based off what I think. So I think they might be two bisexuals in love, and that is what I love to see. Stolas. We all knew he was gay. Let's be honest. So seeing him rocking the male gay pride flag on his uh, highlights, on his just all over, you love to see it two characters that have been speculated about for a very long time, Octavia and Luna. Now I know there's some people out there who like to ship them, personally I do not do that, I don't think they're, I don't think that's a very good ship, but I've seen a lot of speculation about what their actual sexualities are. Seeing Luna confirmed bisexual means so much to me, I am personally not bisexual, but it's so awesome seeing a character who has become like such an icon, throughout, like such a recognizable character being confirmed bisexual is just such a lovely sight to see. I, as far as I know, she was not confirmed to this before. If she was, I'm sorry I'm not for being late to the party, but it's still amazing to see. And of course, Octavia rocking the asexual flag on her shirt. Octavia has always been one of my favorite characters in the series ever since she was first introduced in, I believe, episode two. Seeing her finally be able to show her pride is wonderful. Moving over to Sally Mae, we all knew she was transgender, she is an icon, and now we can see her rocking the lesbian flag. I did not know that about her. I know she's one of the um, best examples of transgender representation in most of independent animation that I can think of off the top of my head, but the fact that she's also um, now lesbian representation is even more wonderful than before, as I believe, looking around, she's the only one on this whole image to be rocking that flag. She's still just as much of an icon as she always was. Wally Rackford, in which the Hell of Lost Twitter account themselves stated that Wally is confirmed canonically to be a silly little guy, which doesn't have a pride flag yet, but should. And I couldn't agree more. Moving back up, we got Fizz and Ozzy, probably my favorite ship in the entire series. If that wasn't already obvious by my community posts, Fizz is rocking the gay pride flag and we love him for that. And Ozzy is rocking the pan pride flag on his hat and the ribbons coming out of this hat. Beelzebub, canonically pansexual. Um, I feel like this was confirmed before. Maybe it's just something that I always thought, but now it's confirmed. So I'm like gaslighting myself into thinking it was always true. But even if this is the first time we really heard of it, that is amazing. Personally, seeing a character as beloved as her within the same sexuality as me is something that makes me so overjoyed it's hard to put into words. Not only that, but Verasica, one of the main characters of the previous episode of Hell of the Lost, is also canonically pansexual. That is something that makes me so overjoyed, like I said, and I know I might, might just sound like I'm repeating myself a lot, but hey, it's something I love to talk about. Moving over to the right, we have two more pansexual characters, Barbie Wire and Chaz. I feel like Chaz's doesn't really come as a surprise, considering how he always acted, especially in the uh, X's and O's episode. Barbie's, I guess, comes as a little bit more of a surprise, and maybe it's just the- maybe it runs in the family, because Blitz is too, but hey, you never know. Mammon being asexual is something that definitely surprised me. I- I don't- I don't- I didn't expect him to even be in an art like this, but life is full of surprises, isn't it? <laughs> Andre Alphys, um, he is rocking that male gay pride flag on his feather. And honestly, I didn't even know that about him, but hey, like I said, with Mammon, life is full of surprises. We have a lot of background um, imps, succubus, incubus, all that in the back, so I'm going to go over those real quick. There's two incubuses on the left. Both of them have the pan flag 
one of them has it on their belt the other one has it on the highlights of their hair there's the one uh transgender imp we saw in episode eight right below them kind of he has a trans flag uh tank top there is also dennis in the back i can't really tell if he has a specific pride flag like ar around him i can just tell he has the um regular rainbow flag there's another imp i believe in the back with the trans flag wrapped around their waist and last but not least there is two succubi with pan flags one of them has it as on their shirt and one of them has it as like a little pattern on their skirt and you cannot forget alessio in the back which i didn't expect to see him there it's hard to tell if he has a flag on him maybe he does but it's very hard to see let me know in the comments below if you were able to make out anything on that and yeah that's really all i wanted to talk about today thank you so much for watching this video if there's anything i missed or if there's anything you would like to add on to in the comments below please let me know and please remember to keep all um discussion about this respectful um we don't tolerate bigots on this channel basically and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video goodbye